In healthcare, we can use control charts and histograms to measure and monitor things like turnaround times for radiology or patient wait times in the ED, whatever it might be. So here's some data. Radiology report turnaround times. Now we could take this and turn this actually into a control chart. And if you're not sure, you can always click on the control chart wizard in the QI macros. And it'll go out and start doing the range chart, which is the range between radiology reports. And it'll show us our variation from report to report. And then it'll go off and actually do an analysis of the actual report turnaround times as well. And so here we see our report turnaround times. And as you can see, it looks like it's pretty stable, except for one little group in the center here, which was between 1 and minus 1 standard deviation. But in general, it's probably running about 13, 14 hours to turn these reports around. We'd probably want to make some improvements in that. Now, if our upper specification limits is 24 hours, because we need this stuff you know, in time for the next time the doctor comes around on rounds, then we want to draw a histogram. And I just select that same data. Sample size is still 1. The upper specification limit is 24 hours. We have no lower spec. right? The default is 0. I mean, when does everybody want radiology reports turned around? Immediately. Right? Google has taught us that. So here you can see that we have a long tail of reports that are running out 40-something hours. And so that's probably what's throwing us off. And we have a capability index here of 0.25. Now the minimum you want for that is 1. You want a value of 1. So this really tells us that we have lots of improvement opportunities. Now we could actually come in here and say, well, let's start doing some root cause analysis. And we could look at some of these worst case scenarios out here and find out what was the root cause. So we, I always like to start with the worst first. So I'd start out here with the worst at the far end and work my way back in, analyzing each one of those reports and find out is there what's the common root cause of why these are taken 30, 40, whatever hours instead of getting them done in under 24. And again, we could actually come in, pick out a QI macros fishbone diagram, and actually start to do some root cause. And that's how easy it can be to start to do some statistical process control on turnaround times. doesn't matter if it's in radiology, lab, uh, ED wait times, uh, patient wait times for discharge. It doesn't matter. You can use these same tools to analyze each one of those situations. And it's very easy using the QI macros.